welcome we are about to go live with you and create something freestyle so come on in say hello um this is a fun part of our fridays where we playing out with you guys in our community and we make something together that i haven't really planned i just grab some supplies and we just kind of freestyle it so i'm so happy to be here i'm responding to your comments over on the Khalees page so if you're watching in one of our free groups please come on over and hang out honey bunny just walked in hey honey bunny no luck yeah i didn't find it Okay. I was looking for my stand for my iPad. I took it, but um, we have lost it somewhere. You know, it's always something, guys. I'm going to pull up your comments so I can say hello and welcome you all. And don't be a stranger. Make sure you're saying hello and uh, tell us where you're watching from. We love that, too. Here you guys are. Turn the volume down on this. All right. I see Cynthia's here and Patty and Joan. Welcome. Hi, Lisa. Great to see you too. Great to see you. Tracy, happy Friday. I hope you're having a great Friday. Uh, we're having rain down here. I'm in Houston, Texas area, guys. I'm in Sugar Land and uh, we're having rain. I know parts of the state had some yucky weather the last couple of days and we're supposed to have it all weekend. So it's like, eh, eh, no fun. But our weather has been so humid um it's nice to like actually have rain instead of just humidity it is nice hi janet hey pat hi deborah hey geraldine and marlene are here fantastic now if you watched our wednesday video i kind of went crazy if you let me give you a little sneak peek from wednesday we made a bunch of different bows we used what we call our blast off bow technique let me show you i'm missing oh here's the other one and basically um so you can go back and watch this. This is here on our Facebook page. This is a three, two, one recipe we do where we have three loops right there and we have two and then we have one. And I, I walk you through step-by-step step how to make bows every Wednesday. Um, and so I was going to use one of these in our project and I usually do it fr on Fridays. If I'm live here in the bloom room with you, I try to use one of our bows. So we made that one and we made this one. I love this one. I think this is the one we're going to use today. I got to fluff it out again. But we also went kind of rogue and we put in some picks and some bows. Look at this one. We put the rocket in here. Let me show you one more. And then we put this one. It's so fun. We put the watermelon in, the watermelon pick in this one. So I have a feeling we'll be using these on all kind of different projects here in the near future. But I want to make sure if you hadn't taken a peek yet, you got to take a look at that video and um, get inspired to create some beautiful bows. Hi, Roxanne. Yes, yeah, Stephanie. I, I kind of get bummed out when we don't have any sunshine either, but yeah, we do need the rain. We got to be thankful. Oh, uh, hi, Deborah. I think I said hi to everyone. Fantastic, guys. Let me see if we are all good. I think I can see you good. We're good. Okay. So if you want to comment and me be able to respond to your comments, you got to do it on the Khalees page for commenting. I am, you can watch from any of the other pages. That's fine. But if you want me to be able to answer questions or help you out, just come over here to comment. All right. I just want, I don't want you to be confused. Hi, Alita. Hey, Melba. Thanks, Cynthia. Alita, you're so sweet. Hi, Doreen. And Nicole's here helping in the comments. So listen, y'all, we have these gorgeous alliums that are like amazing. They have these big, big balls on them. And don't they kind of remind you of like a firework in the flower world? So those were my inspiration for this piece we're going to make today. I thought, let's play with some of these and get these big firework kind of flowers. Um, you can also use something like a spider mum that gives you this effect like that. So we're going to use these to remind us of um, fireworks. So let me get started. I'm going to start off with some greenery and we'll get this freestyle and go in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it on the side or the top or the middle. You have all kinds of different options when you create your own. Hi, Vicki. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Beverly. Great to see you. So it's Friday. Um, anybody planning a special dinner tonight with their family? What is on the agenda for you? Do share. Sometimes y'all inspire us with your meals you're planning. It's like, oh, that sounds good. 
Do y'all get like a uh, dinner planning fatigue? Like you get where you're making the same thing all the time. And then I, th I do this all the time. I hear you guys mention something and then I'm inspired to eat that. Hey, Patty. Hey, Diane. Hey, Elizabeth. Good to see you all. Um, I totally get inspired. So if you've got some kind of cool creation uh, you're cooking or you're making, let me know. You might give us some inspiration. I just put my hanger on. I like to do that first to get it ready to rock and roll. Now, greenery we already have over here. Hey, Elizabeth, New York. Awesome. I hope y'all are getting nice, not too, uh, not too warm weather. Nice and lovely. Oh, Doreen, you have to get a refrigerator. <laughs> well, I hope you get one that has all the bells and whistles you've ever wanted. If you're gonna spend the money, just do it. Just get the one you want. You're going out for friends, Lanny? Oh, that's lovely. I love that. Hey, Roxanne. Hey, Nona. Doing good. Doing good. Just, uh, we've been shipping and working, creating videos um, for the girls in design school. Ladies and gentlemen, there is men in there also. Just keeping everything going. We did have a nice little vacation last week for a few days, which was really nice. And thank you. Thank the Lord for our team. Kept everything rolling. It was so nice. Okay, my wire cutters are here. I have, you know, my workshop. Hot mess express. Everything is. Elizabeth Perch is going to... Oh, yes. How nice. I'm going to pull these up a little just to get them a little... Um, kind of full, but I don't want them too short. I love this bush. And guys, if you're going to need a supply list, just let us know. We'll be posting it a little bit in the comments um, when I get all done what I use. But I like this bush because we could make these short or fat and our long and skinny, fat and short. We can do it either way, however we want. I'm just kind of making them long and skinny because I'm going to use them for my perimeter greenery in here and get this going. Hey, Tammy, the prom in Kentucky Derby, Patty. Oh, yes, yes prom time. My dad's in Las Vegas for the Kentucky Derby. He's loving it. He's ready to do his betting. Oh, how lovely, Jan. Beautiful day. Yeah, lovely. Hey, from Beaumont, you're just, you're not far at all. You are not far, far, far away at all, Danae. My mom, the lady who cuts my mom's hair is moving to Beaumont. And mom's like, ah, oh, geez, I was just getting to where I uh, liked her cutting my hair. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? You find somebody you like and then they're moving. Hi, Tracy. Hey, Carol. Hi, I know, Amanda. Yeah, if you guys are in design school, as soon as I get done with this video, I'm going to try to pop in there and uh, see if it's working. So if you, if you have time to hang out, come on and hang out in class too in a little bit. Y'all, I know y'all don't know, but in our groups, we were having some trouble with uh, Facebook this week. So we're hoping it stays strong. Hey, Joan, how are you doing? We are playing with uh, our favorite stuff in here, playing with flowers. I'm glad you came to hang out. Oh, sometimes there is a string, like a string that gets caught in these. And it reminds me of a, like a glue string. And so it's got to come out, got to come out. I got it. I think I got it. It's like a little fabric string gets caught in there. Hey, Ramona. That's right today. It's hot in here. Oh yes, Lisa. We went to Florida on our few days off and I did see jasmine blooming everywhere. Kaya got so tired of me. I'm like, let's smell the jasmine. Let's stop it. <laughs> it likes that. Uh, this must be the time it blooms because it was everywhere. It was so nice. Hi, Rita. You do, Wendy. You just go back to the lady to get your hair done. Hey, and you know what? That's what my uh, girlfriend Betty does from Georgia. She, she plans her trips back to Texas for <laughs> to see her hair lady. She's like, I, I like it. It works. 
So heck, I when you get a good hair person, you gotta stick with them, don't you? <laughs> uh, Beverly, were they? Yeah, I heard that. A lot of people were having trouble. I know, Cynthia. I was even trying to comment on um, in design school on a bunch of people's posts this morning, and it would kick me out. I was like, okay, okay, I see, I see you coming at me. See what you're doing. But you know, it it would. I just go back and persist. Keep just trying to hang in there. Uh, Sue, you're here, Sue. You're at the right spot. Good to see you. Y'all, and I had a question earlier. If you get like a new number, all you do is just text us again on um, on our text list here. You can go to textkali.com or you can text us at the number up in the on the post description at the top of this live. Um, and just text us the word live again and we'll send you live alerts when we go live. And when you get a live alert like that, that I'm live here, you just come over to Facebook and you refresh till you see the live. And I try to send it about five minutes before we go live. But in general, if I, I try to stick to our schedule, which is Wednesdays at seven, Fridays at noon for our, uh, our Kali's page lives, okay? If I'm not going to be live that week, if we have some type of thing planned in our lives and we can't be live, then we'll have a replay come out or new video or something for you at that same time. Oh, thanks, Glenda. Hi, Pam. Hey, Joey. You want this for hey, the Mary. other uh, comments for the other page? Sure. Is this in a group? I think that's okay. in the. Um, hey, Cheryl. Time. Hey, Lisa. This is in. Uh, what do you think? You're making that supplies. Some... That's yeah. fine. That's fine. If we go live from StreamYard, if we can get that working, I can pull in. All their, I will be able to see all their comments. All right, I'm just Honey Bunny, your department. I put all the technical things on Honey Bunny if I can. <laughs> I don't hey, get Ernestine. Paid at all. Hey, Tamanika. Hey, Tamanika. We are live in. We are live several places, but I'm in the Kalees. I'm on the Kalees page, replying to people. So, um, Richard brought me his phone so I can see you in the group. But we're also live in our other group too. Okay, so I'm getting my first set of greenery on, guys. Getting it spread around. So, hi, Lucy. Cheryl, your dog? Ellie Mae likes when we stop and smell the roses along the way. Cheryl, I wish Kaya liked that. <laughs> Kaya's over it. <laughs> Aw, Sue? Don't. No, this isn't the private page. You are on the Kalees page right now. You're on the Kalees page, Okay. This is streaming to all the public pages. This is my public video I do every week at noon. Okay? I hope you're not confused. All the OGs know. Oh, Cynthia, poor honey bunny, he loves it. He loves it. You know, for Christmas, Cynthia, he got me all this, um, like, special mounting brackets to mount cameras and different things because we're setting up some different cameras for design school. So we can have different views with some newer technology. It was really cute. So he, he loves all that stuff. He does. He has fun. Has, has uh, you guys been making a lot of patriotic? Our Memorial Day pieces. All right. I've got that in. I'm ready to get those. I'm going to get the firework pieces in. Because there are snap, crackle, and pop. These are going to be fun. Let's get these in. Denise, is there a sale after this? Sales only happen on Wednesdays when we're having them. Lately, because our shipping department is so overwhelmed, um, and by shipping department, I mean me, Honey Bunny, Mom, Nicole, uh, anyone else who's been helping us from our community, Alice and Jan, that's the shipping department. We've been so overwhelmed. We haven't been able to do live sales for the last uh, about, about a month now. But hopefully we'll get caught up and we can do more um, until I'm able to hire some people full time. It's going to be difficult, but we're continuing to work on it. <laughs> what in the world is honey bunny? That's my husband. 
That's that's my husband. That's Richard the Honey Bunny. <laughs> he goes by Honey Bunny around here. Uh, yes, Doreen, my gifts were for Honey Bunny. You see how this works? Mm -hmm. Are you really surprised? <laughs> Yeah, if you're not in our live sale group, just go join right there. Nicole just posted a link for you. Go join. That's where we have them. And uh, when we do, we'll let you know. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more moss in here because I'm going to put these in just like they're fun fireworks. It's going to be a floral inspired patriotic wreath where we use the flowers to give you the look of rocket. Hi, Lynette. Good to see you. <laughs> Sorry, don't know what Honey Bunny is. <laughs> Everything has a nickname around here. Does, is there any old, uh, old Lumerinos, as in well-aged, who remember what we named the Pallet Jack? I know we got the pink Pallet Jack in and we gave it a name, but for the life of me, I can't remember what we called it. Barbara, your honey's hubby's name is Richard also. I love it, Barbara. Do you call him Honey Bunny? I don't even know when the Honey Bunny started, but it's stuck, poor guy. He owns it. At the very first wreath retreat we had, they, he came up, uh, he, uh, people were like, hey, Honey Bunny. He was like, okay, I'm Honey Bunny. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Uh, oh, thanks, Patty. This one we did in design school. It's a lantern swag, so you can go check it out. It was a live we did it in design school. Turned out really, really fun. This weekend in class, we did two separate. Uh, this one we did a, a week or two ago, but we did another tutorial on a different way to construct a lantern swag. So we've been busy in there. Hubby Wubby Barbara, that's so cute. Hi, Tammy. Oh, Brenda, you didn't get to go to Canton today because the rain? That's a bummer. Canton is so fun. I know, you usually go up there. Hopefully, Stoney and Michelle, could, I assume they still have their Canton booth. I know you go visit them. I'm not sure, but I hope they do. Oh, uh, hey. Uh, you did a couple of Patreon designs. You got to get some rockets. Oh, that sounds fun. I love the rockets. Like the ones we put in the bow were super cute. Super cute. I'm going to bring that one up a little bit. So there's three. I think I'm going to use more, but I've got three in so far. Hi, Diane. What do we call the pallet jack? Um, what do you call it? The flower power mover? <laughs> the flower power mover. I see you. <laughs> Nicole's giving it a name now, y'all. Diane, how's y'all's weather up there, up north? Any better? Or is it still yucky? We're getting all the rain now. And that lightning woke me up this morning. Just, just what you want to be woken up to, like, ugh. And I always wake up like, what do we have outside that can't get rained on? We don't have anything out there right now, but you never know. Hi, Tammy. Sony Michelle left Kent in December. Oh, okay, so they're not there, Brenda. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Good for them. Hey, Shelly. All right. I'm going to come in down here and really kind of bring your eye down. I'm going to pop this one. These are our little fireworks. Come here, buddy. I need you to be sitting up in this party. Get this one where I want it. I need you to turn in, not out. Thank you. Sometimes you got to talk to these things. Get them going. Okay, I've got four. So, naughty. Naughty flower. Disobeying me. It's all right. When you get a naughty one like that, you just tie it in. Then it can't, it can't surrender. <laughs> you make it stay where you want it. All right, let's put, I'm going to put a little moss over that candle tie to hide it. Ooh, is it crazy too? Oh, you guys have bad weather. Uh, 
Patty, um, the pink design I did live in design school. Okay. And then uh, the neutral one is a different technique and it's in the portal, Patty. So you can go in the group and check in design school under lives or its videos. And you can see this one. And then the, the other one is in the portal under the recorded videos. Hopefully that helps you. Hey, Joellen. I had to, Diane, I had to put the, put the clip on it. I'm not taking it. So we've got some white going here. We're gonna put red next. Stella. Pink Panther. What you talking about, Brenda Pink Panther? I don't get it. What is this joke you're telling me, Brenda, and I'm not getting it? Did, did we have some kind of inside joke going in design school with Pink Panther? <laughs> she know I've, I've forgotten. I have forgotten. Okay, so that's five. I do have one more if we want to make it matchy-matchy. I'm not feeling the matchy-matchy right now. I'm feeling let's go, let's just go out. Now we're going to put some red fun berries in. Aren't these fun? Uh, these are items number 29442. And I think I'm going to use two of these bushes. Uh, Donna, we do have um, we do have these in stock. These are alliums, and I uh, we're gonna have a supply list for you when the video is all done here shortly, and we can share it with you. Um, Ramona says my magnolia heads were bad actors. Yes, yeah. If they flip around, you can tie them in. Uh, generally, you can control it pretty good with the way you position it, but. Sometimes they have a skinny little stem, which I like that. I like that there's not a lot to deal with, but you might need to control it a little bit. You can also use a pick machine to hold them and pick them and use that to hold in. You just got to be careful of your picks when you're working with a wreath. But a centerpiece, um, if you have that going on with a centerpiece and it's flipping around, you can totally just use the pick machine and then the pick will hold it nice. Now, I don't use pick machines because I don't... I got a whole opinion about those and ficus leaves. I won't share those today, but just in case y'all wanted to know. <laughs> I'm gonna have too much, too much opinion. I'll just break this down into a few sections here so we can spread these fun berries out all over. Uh, do I have lanterns in stock? I don't know what lanterns we have uh, available right this minute, so. I will share with you guys when we have some available. All right, I'm gonna put these red berries in. Oh, did we call it the Pink Panther, Brenda? We called the Pink, are you making that up, the Pink Panther? Or did you just name it yourself, Brenda? <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all earlier, we're making this on a 14 inch grapevine base too. Hey, Barbara. Good to see you. Oh, let me check the comments over here. Let's see. Hey, Sandra. We've got an earthquake. Holy smokes. Uh, jeez. Mm. Crazy. I can't believe you guys had an earthquake. Hopefully no aftershocks. Hey, Betty, good to see you. Hope your eye's doing okay. Hope you're healing up. <laughs> no, Doreen, you can do whatever you want in your designs. You don't have to do that all the time. You can uh, go rogue. You can or you can't. It's up to you. I just inspire you and then you can do what you like and then eventually as you start to sell your pieces if you want to then you can find out what your customers like and then naturally you'll kind of be drawn to doing a little bit more of that because when you do that you'll have more success selling than more wreaths and that's exciting that's fun 
Oh. Hey, Christina. Hey, Marianne. Da, 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 da. <laughs> hey, Audra. Good to see you. Okay, I'm going to bring this berry in here. I love these little funky berries. I'm a sucker for a good berry, y'all. Hey, B. Oh. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you're taking a break hanging out with us. Because we're playing with fun stuff. Y'all, has anybody seen any cute little side tables anywhere? I I left the side table accidentally out in the rain and um, that I take pictures on. And of course it's not, it's, it's just press wood, so it's, it's not gonna make it. So if you've seen any cute little ones there, you know, at your local, well, it has to be some kind of chain like that I might have here in Houston. Share with me, I need to know. And I'm also on a hunt for a big white rooster. Has anybody seen a cute one of those somewhere? Uh, I really want a really big white rooster. I guess it could be colored and I could paint it white. Not really wanting to paint it white. Oh good, yes. You've got to be able to get those eyeballs good. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, thanks, Stephanie. I'm glad you do. I'm glad you came and hung out with us. Uh, you know, we do free sale Fridays when I'm not on vacation. We're here Fridays at noon or working or something. And today I couldn't do it from the warehouse, which I have done a few from the uh, warehouse, which we call Bloom Central, because it's raining and it's really loud over there if it's raining on the metal roof. So you might just hear, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. and if I have to have the doors all closed, we don't have the greatest signal. Although we just got a new Wi-Fi over there and it's working really good. So you never know. We might be coming up in the world. One of the advantages of having that big Amazon built next to us at the warehouse is that uh, newer technology is coming in. So it's exciting. Oh, Brenda, Target had cute outdoor tables. Good idea, Brenda. Okay. B, a flat rooster. No, I want a dimensional B. Let me show you guys. I made this for design school. It's this cute little um, scale right here. We did this in design school and I wanted kind of an oversized rooster to go next to it in my kitchen. So we made it where we could make it, we could make something else to go in here too. So it's a separate little piece, but I want a big rooster to go beside it. So uh, if you guys see one somewhere, now I got a message from um, one of you guys that you saw one at Tractor Supply. So I was gonna look at tractor supply. I don't have the tractor supply real close by, but I'm gonna be on the lookout for one. To set these berries down. Um, okay. Oh, Hobby Lobby has some cute tables. Fantastic, thank you. I will check that out. Home Goods, have you seen a white one there? Stephanie, okay, awesome. I'll check Home Goods. Oh darn, make me go to Home Goods and Hobby Lobby. Shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I will check. I will check. I'm on the hunt. I thought that would be really cute. I don't do like a whole lot of farmhouse, farmhouse, but if it's just white, I thought that would be fun to go next to it in the kitchen at some point. All right, this is looking cute so far. We're getting in red berries and we got the big white allium so far. I'll probably put the bow in just a second and then we'll work the rest of the red berries around it. We're going to use the bow from Bow Wednesday, which I really like. This one with the denim in the center. I think that's cute. Your house to home has a large standing roosters, but they're not white. Okay, Susan, house to home. I will check that. Do I have a rural king? Rural king? No, Annette, maybe not, but I can check. I'll check that out. <laughs> yeah, Cynthia, it's going to be just like 
punishment to go shopping. <laughs> oh darn, I have to get a new table. Richard's going to accuse me of leaving out the table outside on purpose. <laughs> He'll be like, you left that out on purpose. Oh, <laughs> I needed a new one for my studio. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, does he? Doreen, I'll check. I will check. Yeah, that sounds cool. We'll check it out. Oh, Elizabeth, uh, Betty, sorry. On you, Elizabeth, but you respond. It's a lantern, it's a gigantic lantern swag we did. It's a big old kahuna, big one. And it goes with our little daisy uh, Mother's Day drawer hanger over here. It's a collection. Look how cute. So those coordinate together. It's got the pink, it's got the ribbon, and those go together. And I was thinking about putting that at the entrance to the house here when I get a second to decorate a little bit more. Okay, let's put this in. Yeah! At Home has a white and black one. Red, white, and blue one also. Doreen, okay. Y'all are on it. I knew y'all would know where I could get a cute rooster. I just feel like it would look so adorable. All right, I'm putting my bow in right here. And we shall. We're going to work some more goodies around it now. We definitely need some more filler. But we, uh, I like the concept of just using florals to look like rockets, too. Hey, Christy. Well, I'm glad you're here with us. Hey, Patricia. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah, we were doing a live in there one day and someone wanted a lantern swag and I'll, we just were able to make a pretty one. Turned out pretty. Okay. I love this bow. Okay, that is cute. Let me curl this and I'm going to work in some, I need to work in some greenery around it. And I'm going to let that bow be straight and kind of come down straight. I think that's going to be cute. Okay. Yes, we are professional shoppers. Yes. Thank you. I need a group of enabler shoppers. That's fine with me. You know? Uh, hi, Joellen. If you need help, just email info at cleese.com or you can email Nicole at Nicole at .com. Either way, and we'll get you help. We'll get you help straightened out. I think I'm going to curl this little uh, flag one up too. Thank you, Christine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, we got to get some more greenery to tie this in. If we wanted one more firework kind of coming out, we could. But I like to work with the odd on this particular design. I'm liking that. I'm liking just three and two odd number. So I'm going to use this greenery as a filler, the same green we used earlier. We're going to shorten it up a slight bit so we can fill it in. Okay. It's a gift, Brenda says. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, it is. I could put my mom on it. She'd be all over it, but she'd have to get it on a deal. I'd be like, mom, just get the pretty one. I want it. No, no, it, was, it wasn't a deal. Now she would come home with a crazy colored one that I could paint and do a project on. And I would be like, mom, I don't have time for a project right now. I just want it to look pretty. Y'all are so funny. Okay, so we have the supply list ready if anybody needs it. Uh, Nicole just posted the link. And um, if you respond, if you ask for it while she's if you're live with us right now, she can give you the link too if you need help finding it. Later on the replay, though, we will have to go to it on your own, or uh, we'll have a blog post regarding this eventually. 
where you can get all the links and watch the videos. That is so pretty right there. Hey, you just adopted my mom. Yay! Oh, Audrey, I'm sorry. And that messed up order is, is hopefully the one. I had to refill it for you because the other one's coming back here to us. So poor Audrey's box went on an extra adventure. <laughs> oh, Barbara, you're so sweet. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks, Betty. They are doing wonderful. What? Dad's in Vegas. Mom's here working her hiney off, helping us. And uh, just, she's loving every minute of it. They're doing fine. We're so blessed that they got over COVID without, you know, it took a while, but it could have been a much different. So we are very blessed. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. Is there a teachable on the Magnolia? Um, Nicole, was this a live? Or is this, was this a live video? Or is this a recorded video? I don't remember right off the top of my head. It might be recorded. Um, it might be one we did live. I think it is. Cause I think that week we did uh, recorded the picture over here which uses some of the same techniques. This one I believe is recorded in design school and the other one is alive. A I'm sorry if I'm getting that. I'm pretty sure that's right. Hey, Tony. Thank you. I'm glad you love it. I love this stuff. We call this having fun with flowers right here. That's what we're doing. I hope I don't need one more greenery. I might. Try to make this one work. Christy, you love that one too? Um, and it used some of the same techniques. All we did is swoop this down a little more because we put that on the scale. And it's made on a tile so you could actually pop that in anything you want. The one in the, the planter is made in the planter. Audrey, it was live. Okay, thank you. That's what I was thinking it was. Sometimes I'm like, what? I don't remember. Too many moving parts around here. How cute is that? You're welcome. Tony says your husband, your husband's working on a studio, Tony. How awesome. I hope that, I think that's what you mean by that. All right, I just need a hair more up there. Let me see, I could go with a different greenery and add just a couple of touches of this one. I'm gonna switch it up a little. I'm adding one more. Nicole, she's like, really? Uh, this is item number 113114GN. 13114GN. This is the button grass. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this um, kind of around the perimeter, like a twig. Let's pop it in there. Tony, that's awesome. I'm excited for you. Christy, we can handle any shopping situation. They have metal roosters. Christy, I'm looking for like a resin one, like a nice one. They were popular, you know, a few years ago, kind of in that French country look, you know. But I don't want the colored one. I want it to be a nice, creamy, distressed white. I Yeah, I got a plan for it. <laughs> They're probably not in style right now, but I don't care. Right? <laughs> I'm shortening these up a little bit so I can get a little more length on these stems. And we'll put a few of these in here. All right, come on to the party, guys. Let me pop this one out. I'll put one up here. Yay. Let's put one more at the back. Right in here. 
just want to make sure I'm covering my mechanics. I, I have it covered with the moss, but I don't want to see that. I want to see just pops of greenery. Cheryl, you like the boxwood um, as filler? Okay, Chrissy, I'll check on there for the... Um, Y'all, they're commenting in the group if you can't see their comments. Richard brought me his phone so I can comment back to them. But I will definitely check. So uh, we had this question the other day in design school about how many greeneries we should mix. And generally, I, I say not more than three. You don't even have to have two, but it adds a nice little texture because we're picking up this little bit of a leaf on here. And um, we still got the little small texture like this one. So we had that covered but I like this little spiky leaf that's coming in to add a little dimension. Ramona at antique stores. Oh, Ramona, twist my arm. Now I've got to go to Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, antique stores. Dang! Can we mix in some garden centers? Then I am going to have an epic day. <laughs> I love it. That's a great idea, too. I will check. That sounds fun. I'll, uh, that's just right up my alley. All of that. I think we're cut from the same cloth, y'all. I think we are. I'm going to bring this one down a little bit. I popped a little more greenery in there and then the red berries. I'm just going to kind of wiggle them to the front. I don't want to hide them. I just want a little bit more spiky greenery down here just to tie it in. And I think we've done it. That's cute. Thank you. I'm sorry. I added to the list on you just when you thought I was done. I wanted to put something else. Does that really surprise you? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't surprise her at all. What has she done now? Uh, is Round Top or Magnolia your Janie? Yeah, Round Top is what's a few hours a couple hours and magnolia is an hour or so but we could definitely hit the stores up there that's right tony you're gonna hit 100 joanne what the heck what's going on over there well i hope it's a dry heat joanne i hope it's a dry heat <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say Stephanie, I can paint it and distress it. Yeah, man. Sounds like a project, Stephanie. I could. I could. And I could just put it online for y'all to see me doing it, huh? All right. I guess I could do that, too. I'll keep an eye out for the bones of one I really like. And we could do all that. Okay. I'm going to do a project, though. I'd rather be playing with flowers. Just saying. Okay, guys, we did it. Turned out super, super, duper cute. Look at, check it out. Boom. Turned out really cute. So, you know, find some inspiration maybe with flowers that could represent the season you're thinking about decorating for. So for us, of course, we're doing patriotic. And these alliums just reminded me so much of just a firework exploding. Um, and so when we put in the bow with it, it kind of told that story. And of course, we've got the red berries to pull in the red. And you could have put some blueberries in there too, if you wanted to go for it all. Especially since we anchored the bow with that blue right in the center. Don't forget how to make the bow is available on our Wednesday video from this week. You can learn how to make that step by step. And of course, all these supplies are available at Kalees.com. If you want to learn how to make more things like this, our design school opens up twice a year. It'll be open up again in the fall where I teach you step-by-step -step how to create things like this. Plus, we have a lot of fun in there. Uh, you can get on the wait list for that at KaleesDesignSchool.com. All right, you guys have a great week. I'm going to see you tomorrow live at noon in here. It won't be live. It'll be recorded. Sorry. Um, there's a new Simple Project coming out every Saturday for Simple Saturday. Come join us. It's patriotic themed. I think you'll enjoy it. Y'all have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye y'all.